hello viewers in this experiment uh, we will demonstrate for you the Osborne, Osborne Reynolds, Reynolds apparatus uh, you'll see in this uh, picture this is the main view of the apparatus and now we will go to a 3d model to more details this is the three model based exactly on the same apparatus that we are using in the labs please follow on thank you as you see this is a 3d model of the apparatus let us zoom in a little bit uh, this apparatus consists consists of the water bench okay this water lab bench uh, controls the water from the source here is the tank the source of the water and pumps it up to the system we add in this case we added the apparatus for the Osborne Reynolds number and when it finishes the flow will go back to the tank and will drop back down as you see in this apparatus the system consists of now on top of the water bench consists of this acrylic based uh, tube acrylic acrylic based system you will see here a tube in this tube there is another inner tube as you can see when I zoom then you will see the tank that supplies the water at constant heat and you will see another tank for supplying the dye down and you will see the outlet of the water from the system and the overflow outlet that goes directly to the lower tank the idea of the system is simple the water will flow directly from the pump the green pipe it will go directly inside this head uh, stabilizing tank where the water will flow in once it reaches the height of this yellow pipe it will overflow down so it will keep the head constant at this height this will stabilize the water so it will not fluctuate from the motor then the water will flow back in inside the pipe from the green pipe again the green pipe represents the in okay the in flow in the system now it flows inside this is the main system now the big pipe once it flows inside you will see here the system consists of two pipes the bigger one and the smaller one okay two tubes uh, the bigger one the water flows into the bigger one and since it's closed it will not flow into the inner tube directly it must go through this directional uh, tubes or pipes so the purpose of this is to redirect the water and smooth the flow of it okay because once it goes inside the system it's a little bit uh, agitated so this is smooth as the water and once it reaches to the end hits the wall and goes back inside the smaller pipe as it goes to the smaller pipe it will reach to the end and it will outflow down now the red one is the outflow now you see here also another tube another small pipe that goes inside the inner tube of the system this tube is connected this pipe is connected to the small water dye tank as you see here small water dye tank okay the dye this tank has a dye in it and it flows slowly inside the pipe until it reaches the opening here once the water will flow the water will flow in this direction and you open the dye it will give you a constant uh, flow of the dye inside the water so you will see the direction and the flow and the status of the fluid flowing in the small tube if it is laminar it will be straight if it is turbulent it will be wobbly okay that's it for the 3d model demonstration now let's go for the trial one so in this experiment we see that the head is controlled 
by the flow of in this tank at the constant head the water will flow inside the pipe and will go inside the smaller inner pipe as you can see here this will control the flow there is a die in the center of the pipe this die now represents the flow the, the, the flow of the water and now it's a laminar what we need to do in this experiment is to calculate the flow and observe this uh, line or die flow through the water okay then in this video you need to calculate the flow now I'll put the yes now we calculate the flow based on the video timing you need to calculate I will get a stopwatch so you can calculate the flow for this flow Either you can calculate by video or by the stopwatch here. So let it reach one and we start. So we let you calculate the flow for example for example between two and three and you look at the seconds timing between two and three Now, for example, 2 is 40 Now it's three around one minute twenty two seconds. So you you calculate the flow based on the time and the liters. Now we change the flow. Now it's in the transition phase between a laminar and transition. You see the the dial line is in the beginning a little bit straight, then it gets in a turbulent uh, flow mode after a while. So now we calculate the flow again. In same as before okay you can start when it reaches one go from 1 to 3 and based on that you can calculate the flow So 
we can go to four if you like you can cal cal calculate between any one to two two to three three to four or one to four whatever we'll go to four just four and Okay, now it's at four. We are done. We will test the turbulent flow. You will see now the die is from the beginning is too turbulent. The flow in the inner pipe. Now we will calculate the flow for that. As you can see. Now let's calculate the flow for that. We can start when one will I'll do again from one to four. This is two. I started before one, so you record the seconds at one, then the seconds, for example, at three, and do the calculation. We'll go to four. Yes, let's go to five here because we have more. The flow is more. Usually for Reynolds number to be laminar it should be under 2000 to be uh, transition between 2000 and 4000 and turbulent to be above 4000.